Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Stationers. And guess what? I found a whole bunch of gold. So guess what? The series is over. I'm done. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna go back to Earth. I'm gonna live the rest of my life filthy rich. I'm kidding. We're gonna use all this gold to make a whole bunch of vending machines today. Uh, I'm looking at the temperature, the sun here. We might actually be able to get that furnace going if it's still actually, if it's not still primed. Uh, no, it's not. I'm going to hurry and get this done. Uh, as you can see, I do have ice in the vending machine. It has been in there a few days, and as far as I know, it has not melted. So that might be uh, a good thing. Uh, let, me, uh, hmm. let me get rid of that. We're going to need all this gold anyways. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So it stays in the vending machine, which is good. Uh, I have looked into the wall cooler, and it needs a, a gas. There's a gas and a piping system. And here I am rambling here. Let's hurry up and get this done. Uh, yeah, it needs one of these, isn't it? Nope, it's the other one. Uh, what am I talking about here? I was, hang on. I'm sorry about that. I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, it's the best thing about that. That's one of the reasons why I like recording, because if you ever forget something, you can always, you know, just do a cut and do, edit it back, try to figure out what you actually said, and go back. But anyways, uh, yeah, the wall cooler also needs a radiator, too. Now, did I actually grab that ice? No, I didn't. Of course not. Uh, it needs a radiator, and it needs a wall cooler. So basically, the radiator outputs heat, and the wall cooler... Uh, removes heat. Sorry, I'm lost today. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, so either way, so needless to say, I need a gas. And I don't have no idea what gas I would use. I would imagine it'd be something like oxygen. Possibly. But anyways, uh, let's get one in. Uh, probably activate it. Uh, apparently the reason why you got to activate it is if it's if it's cold outside, it doesn't actually melt. So when you activate it, you're actually doing an ignition that forces the ice to melt and create the gas. And I've looked at the gas too, and the gas just needs to be a two to one mixture. Uh, basically, you prime it at 100 kilopascals, and that should be, and then just hit the activate it. It should fire up. So definitely look into the gas situation. Uh, I will not be keeping ice in the system. There we go. So. I need electrum, and uh, let me check my temperature and pressure here. Pressure 800 to 2400. So we're good on the pressure. Uh, temperature can be anything, but here's the, the thing: uh, how much is actually going to get? What what's the pressure going to drop after? Well, you know what I mean when I put things in, and the sun just came up. Anyways, I want to make 500 electrum, so we're going to put 250 gold in. Two. Oh, no, not that one. Three, four, and five. Now everything's in the, the chutes there. The chutes will hold one stack each. So I gotta melt this and I gotta put another 250 silver in there. And then I gotta get the pressure and temperature right. So the pressure's going up, the temperature's going down because I'm adding ore. So now I can go ahead and put five stacks of silver in here. I have no idea how much this thing can hold. We are going to find out. Right, close that. I do need uh, a lot of gold for these vending machines, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, where's that silver? There we go. It's three, uh, four, and five. There it goes, right? We shall find out. I will have to adjust the pressure, and fortunately we can do this. So let's actually do that right now. See if we can get that pressure down. That pressure's got to be under 2400. Uh, temperature's not bad. I gotta put more gold in. Uh oh. That's fine. At least I don't have to make any later. Let's actually turn the volume up on this if I can. Because we're gonna have to get the, the rate out a little bit faster. I'm lost. Stuck behind a wall. So that brings the temperature down. 
uh, or the pressure. What I need is actually the temperature up now because that's going to be 700. And I think all I would have to do is just add some vol volatile, but I don't know if that's going to work because it's dark right now, or it's sunny right now. Okay, turn that off. Perfect. Okay, let's see if I can actually get right up into this thing. Uh, one volatile should do it. I don't know if it went up or not. Uh, I might have to wait for night on this one. Yeah, it's melted before it even gets in there. <sighs> Alright, uh, I'll see what I can do. Hold on. Okay, I figured it out. I'm going to take the chute off and f force it in manually. So, the temperature's up. Let's see if we get the pressure down a little bit. Put my wrench away before it takes it apart inadvertently. So, I need this under 2400 or 2.4. I could probably bring the volume up a little bit, but don't want to go too far. And this is why the wiki comes in handy. And there we go. Electrum. So it only produces 500. Oh yeah, that's right, because uh, bars are only 500. Oh, there we go. I have a lot of electrum. So now i got to melt some gold down. I do have... A lot of gold actually um, I need to make 500 gold so I don't actually need to worry about pressure temperature or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and I'll be right back I just had one of those moments I'm like where's all this gold coming from I forgot to put the shoot back on I gotta love it now that you bring you back for that it's actually raining gold okay I'm back I ended up making up the gold and the iron that I had so we do have enough. I actually had enough of everything else, including the solder. Oh, hello. I did lose a piece over here. Oh, and another one. I knew I had more gold. That's fine. We actually got to actually smelt that up right now. Why not? And a couple of things I wanted to do, too, is uh, make some logic circuits. Uh, I was looking at the logic reader. And it'll, it can tell you how many stacks are in the system, but it won't tell you uh, how many items. So, I'm thinking about look, getting into that. And, that's good. So we shall pull that gold out. And, I'm going to put all this in the fabricator. Uh, so what I want to do basically is I want to basically set up the vending machines going into the furnace uh, so that way if I want whatever I need I can just produce it let's say 50 at a time or whatever or mass produce it and have it go into a vending machine and just use the vending machine to either pump it into here or into one of the other machines that I need uh, the other machines are actually faster than the fabricator but the fabricator allows you to do batches of that at continually going and here I am rattling on and I'm forgetting to actually load this thing I don't actually know how many resources this thing can actually hold, but it's got a lot. Quite a bit. So, the first thing on the agenda is... See, I was planning on making 10 vending machines, so let's go ahead and make 10 vending machines. I will have to make a whole bunch of chutes too, get some wires, some logic circuits, and then for the, for the mining setup, uh, it does take a little bit to actually hang on to mine everything I need solder uh oh let's pause that uh, solder was lead and iron I think uh, do I have any lead I don't think I do to be honest actually I probably have lead over here maybe I have no idea what I have in this system right now I got silver and I got nickel no lead. Uh, that's going to be coal and uranium, so uh, yeah, I guess i got to get some lead going. I don't even know what I need for the furnace, but I'll find out. Okay. I've seen some strange voxel generation, but that seems kind of suspicious. Let's go investigate. Make sure I can get my bearings. Okay. Sun to the right. 
Yeah, there's something over there. And hopefully, hopefully it's friendly. My battery's gonna die. What am I actually gonna do here? I'm gonna soak the battery out with my miner. Just because. See? That's using your head. So it was right over here. Pretty sure it is. I haven't moved at all. And I don't think that's just random generation. I think there was something out here. I have yet to explore. Because I don't know what's out here. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna do a cut here and just go for a minute or so and see if I can find anything. If not, I'll bring you back when I'm back at the base. Okay, I'm back. I had to go on a bit of a gold run just in time. Oh, that's bright. The sun's up. So I have gone ahead and made. 10 vending machines. I got a whole bunch of shoots being made right now. Uh, I have been looking at this and it should be fairly simple to do. Uh, I'm going to have one vending machine here and I'm going to have another one here with the conveyor port or the the shoot outlet here. And then the next one will be here and then like so, stagger it out. Uh, I do plan on having one vending machine for each ore. Uh, and then what I'm thinking about doing, I don't know if I'm going to do that here down below or on the second floor when I get it set up uh, but basically I'm gonna have a panel with you know just you know, a wall of different you know, panels themselves where I can add iron or add gold or silver or whatever into the into the, the furnace and be able to actually smelt it that way instead of having to manually put it in uh, because of the, the ice doesn't actually melt in the vending machines I gonna see what I have left over but I want to try to have two vending machines uh, specifically for the oxide and the volatile for now anyways uh, I definitely will get into the gas uh, which actually bring, gives me an, an idea of what I want to do um, something I was actually thinking about doing I might, might do this over, anyways uh, it's gonna need a lot of steel uh, basically I want to start getting a gas storage set up and so instead of any ice going into a machine into vending machine into storage it's going to go down into the very bottom of this hole here where the temperature is going to get uh, very warm let me see if I can actually find out the tells me the temperature and it doesn't look like it will actually tell me the temperature but I know if you go down there it's going to be pretty warm so then I can have the ice come down here into a chamber I build down there it melts it gets pumped out by uh, an active vent or two and then goes through a filtration system goes into separate tanks and then that way all the ice that comes out of here just goes straight into there and doesn't even bother filling up these machines so enough for rambling uh, I am going to take these things apart and get them all set up with the chutes and we'll continue on okay so I got them all wired up so all I gotta do now is just turn them on and then I'm gonna take all the ores I have throw it into the system here I'll actually add a, a chute somewhere and go from there. So this is going to take me a minute. I should have enough power on here. I'm hoping. Uh, I know these don't actually use very much power. But we shall find out. And uh, that is all 10. And a fry wire. No. Okay. So let me uh, fill her up and we'll see what we have. Okay, so there they are. So that's what we got. Uh, I don't know exactly how much we have, how many stacks of each we have yet. Uh, that's where the logic chips are going to come in because I'll be able to actually read the quantity of stacks in here. Uh, if I know there's 50 in a stack, that's what the stackers are for. If I know there's 50 a stack, then I know that if I got 10 stacks in there, I got 500 copper. So now what I want to do is I actually want to get all this sort of worked into getting into the furnace here. Uh, I've been thinking about the, you know, like I said about the, the oxide and volatile about having its own uh, vending machine. I think I'm going to do that because I do have a couple of spares here. Uh, I actually have more than I thought I would. At least I thought I did. Uh, either way, I can always make more because we're going to be mining soon. Probably not this episode, probably in between episodes, but we shall check it out. So I need that. I need a, I need a stacker as well. I need two stackers actually. Uh, the reason why I want stackers is because if I put the ice into the vending machines, I want them into one unit quantities. So then that way I don't have to 
we're about put 50 in. Uh, apparently, you can add different temperature. Uh, uh, add different quantities. So you can do like a six and twelve for our yeah tw twelve volatile six oxide, which will actually get you up to like a, a twelve millipascal. Would you please get in there? Thank you. Uh, tw twelve uh, millipascal or megapascal pressure. I'm having trouble here. I don't mind me struggling here. Uh, did I grab check all these? I can't remember if I did or not. Oh, I guess I can put the silicon in there. And I hit the Windows button, not Alt. My bad. Uh, silicon, I can go in here. Put the ice back. Okay, and... Yeah. Okay, uh, stackers. Do I have a stacker in here somewhere? I probably do. Or I probably don't, so I gotta make a couple. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay. So here's what I want to do. It's because I want to have the ice as close to the, the smelter as possible. Uh, or, not smelter, furnace. So I want to have the vending machines here, and I do actually need my light, unfortunately. Now, I've been thinking about where I want to place them. Like, realistically, I could have them here. I don't know if I can rotate them any other way. No, I can't. Just left and right. Uh... Let's see, where would it be a good spot for it then? Can't place it here. Actually, I can. No, I can't because of the pipes. So I might have to do something like this. Uh, it will all be controlled by a button. And then I also want to make sure that ice can get in. Uh, ores can get in here as well. Hmm. Almost wonder if I should put it on this side here. Of course, I will be priming this thing at night. But at the same time, too, this might actually just work here. So we'll put one there. And one there. And then on the back side, go ahead and grab our chutes. Grab another stack there. Uh, one there. One there. Now stackers. And the stacker, I'm just going to have it set to 1. So when I put the ice in. Yeah. So when I put the ice in, it'll put it into it. Put a stack of ice in, it comes out in individual units. So then I just hit the button to dispense it right to the furnace. And then. Yeah, I think I just drop stuff right into the stacker. I do believe. Yes, I can. Okay. Perfect. So that is that. I just gotta get power to this, power to the vending machines, and get it all hooked up into the furnace. Okay, so vending machines and stackers are all set up. So now all I gotta do is get these connected into here, and then all those connected into here as well. Okay, I'm back. I actually had to go uh, mine some ice. I am making new more shoots right now, so I'm gonna get this finished hooked up. Uh, finished getting this hooked up. But what I want to do while it's nighttime is let's actually load this up. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which one is which. So I'm going to go ahead and put a stack of oxide in there. And that is going to do individual pieces. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same here. And that's going to go through. And then I'm going to do that. And then hopefully nothing melts while it's going through. So I'm going to get the rest of these hooked up and... Uh, then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? I realized it's actually adding new stacks. So that's what's going on there. Uh, but yeah, I do have to label everything because I want to be able to get everything set up on logic displays. But I want to get uh, a couple of logic readers and logic writers and a couple of displays made. Because I want to get an inventory count of these two machines. So I know how much ice I actually have in there. So I know when I have to get ready to stock it up so let me quit rambling and i'll be back okay i'm pretty much done here uh except for the fact that i need a little bit of copper so let's give this a test the vendor piece of copper this should actually go right in here and i think i should have the right temperature for this almost oh i didn't connect these up either uh, at least it goes one way so then that means i have to uh, wait till night goes down or we can 
We can see if this will work. Let's see here. Does it actually go in? No, oh, it evaporates. Needs a little bit more temperature. So that means I have to AFK for a little bit. I have been uh, making the circuits. Uh, I guess we could get that all set up right now. Uh, the only thing I really need the copper for is I need one more console. Uh, I do have the circuits. I have some wire. Do I have any more? I got the data cable there. Um, I got heavy. Might need a little bit more. Hmm. Sure. Oh, oh. Getting all confused here. We'll combine it. You can always repaint it later. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so uh, I do have two chips here. Now I could just have this anywhere. It doesn't really matter where I have them as long as I don't have the... I think as long as I don't have the output actually... <sighs> Hold on. Actually, I should be able to just put this right into a loop, I believe. All right, logic reader. Okay, let's rotate you around. We'll get two readers. This should work. If not, I fry them. Logic writer. Okay, and this is actually why I labeled everything, so I can actually, I actually know which goes where. Oh, and I need my handy handy wire cutters. Do that, do that, and then gotta get power here too. Hmm. Something tells me to fry something here. We're gonna find out, aren't we? Okay, like so, like that. Do, 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 do. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong here, but uh, where am I? Do Hang on a sec. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think this should be okay. Of course, uh, I could be wrong about that. Uh, let's see here. I guess it doesn't really matter where we put these. I'm hoping everything's going to be okay. If not, I have to replace a whole bunch of wires. Okay, and since this all goes back in, I shouldn't have to worry about anything. And do that junction here. And junction here. It's a bit of a mess, but whatever. And just because we'll try to keep everything clean here. Because once everything fries, we won't know what to do. Alright, so now let's get a screwdriver. Uh, the first logic reader is going to be... We're going to change this to... Um, hmm, what is it? Oh yeah, volatile. Okay, volatile. And, and this one here is going to be oxide. Oxide. Okay, and then, uh, so let's see, uh, variable is going to be... Go to quantity. Same with this one here, we're going to change this to quantity. So basically what we're doing is we're setting it to the vending machine and then each machine has its own different settings. This one just happens to have quantity which tells you how many stacks, not how many items. That's why uh, I've been separating everything. So then we take uh, the logic. I've got these backwards. No, no, that's right. Yeah. So input is going to be changed to logic writer, which is the wrong one. That's why I got to label them. Hold on. Okay. So now I had to have them uh, renamed oxide reader, oxide writer, volatile reader, volatile writer. So then here I can change this to volatile reader. Yeah. And we're going to change this to volatile reader. So the volatile reader is going to be reading the volatile machine. And then we're going to have this output to a display, which I have to get set up. And then this one's going to be the same thing. We're going to change this to its quantity. This will be... Okay, oh, hold C to go previous. And oxide reader. Okay, and... Oh yeah, because we don't have nothing to output to. Alright, well the sun has gone down, so let's give this another shot. 
You okay, to get the fair hooked up. Or the shoot. Okay, nothing yet. No. Give it another one. Activate. And nothing, and we'll give it one more oxide. I'm sure there's a, a proper way of doing this. Just being an idiot. And I think I need to vent the, vent the system. Uh, everything should be going in. It's, oh yeah, uh, vent is here. Oh, uh, that might help. I don't know if anything went in or not. Okay, I do have power. Alright, let's uh, give this another shot. I don't think that actually went in. Okay, nothing. Try some oxide, and I'll probably do a cut here just to get this thing actually started. Just so I can make some copper. I probably should have done this smelt the the arc furnace, but I'll be back. Okay, so it seems the reason why I had trouble getting this thing going is if this doesn't actually melt, it stays in there, so the ice got trapped in here. So when I turned it back on, oh, I got a hell of a lot of power uh, temperature out of it. So now I got to get this back into the system. Actually, I can do this. We'll run back over here. We'll do that. And go back over here and we vent it again. And there we go. And that's what I want. So this got me the copper. So I can go ahead and finish making the other console and I'll bring you back when we're going to get that set up. Okay, I'm back. So, what I want to do is we're going to take uh, consoles, we're going to put four of them up here, and we're going to have two of them as a display, and two of them as uh, a panel, like a push button. So we're going to put three here, so okay, we'll do that, do that, and then up top we're going to change these to LED signs. Uh, Hmm. That's not gonna fit. It won't go up top there, so it's gonna have to go down here. Which means I gotta move these ones down below. Uh, no screwdriver or uh, hand drill. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my sounds. Uh, they're not responding for some reason. Take that, that, and then we'll do this. We'll go down here. Uh, just so I have room for the wiring. Okay, and of course, I've got to grab a labeler so we can label everything. Which should be there. Turn that on. Uh, and then we'll do volatile display. I'm sure I could just do V display. And oxide. Okay, now these ones I don't have to actually label because they're, they don't actually have any logic going to them. Okay, uh, oh, a circuit board. What do I need for a circuit board in these? Let me figure that out. Okay, I'm back. So I did look into it. I could, I'm probably going to have to end up using like a, a toggle power sort of console and then but I'd have to have a separate logic system set up for it because I don't there's nothing in here there's no circuit boards that allow you to actually send and activate or dispense signal to the vending machine and I have to be connected to the data port I'd have to give it like a, a dispense or a vend or activate signal and the only way I'd be able to do that is with a logic writer and so I'd have to get up another logic system set up for that and I basically, basically would have to Get the logic reader to read when I hit the act, hit the powers button, and then it'll sort of vend out. Uh, let's actually see if we can see the vending machine on here for what we have for output. Okay, uh, no device. Hmm. 
Oh, yeah. Variables up here. All right, let's go to see what we have for a vending machine. Oh, well, uh, I want volatile. Okay, so we have lock, clear memory, activate, which would be dispense. Uh, request hash, that'll be request what's on the display. Uh, power, lock. Yeah, so I have to send an activate signal. So that's something we'll do at another time. But anyways, uh, I do have to get these set wired up. So let me do that and we'll get it going. Okay, so I got it wired up. So now let's go ahead and grab our screwdriver. Yeah, okay, so that's volume. That's uh, volatile reader. That's taking the reader. We're going to be outputting to uh, volatile display is small. And we are going to be... Setting. Hmm. Let's turn this on and see what it does. It doesn't fry, that's for sure. Okay, that is not it. Mode. New. Color. No. <laughs> Uh, a setting. There we go. So how do we change the color back? Can't change the color back. Anyway, uh, I think that might... No clue. Anyway, so we want uh, setting on that. We'll do the same thing here. We want oxide reader. We're going to be going to... Oxide display small and setting. Let's turn it on. So there we go. We got 90 volatile, 45 oxide. That is good. And then uh, we just gotta get this wired up. So we sort of got this semi automated. All I got left to do is get a whole bunch of miners going. And like I said, I'm thinking about. Getting possibly four. I have done an area here already, and there has been a whole lot down here. Oh, my light was off. I have been noticing a few spots that I'll have to clean up by hand, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, so I ended up moving over here because I saw there was a big deposit here. But uh, what I plan on doing, like I said, I'm going to get another th probably three of these going, and then I'm just going to start pushing them back this way, and we'll get whatever we can get. But anyways, I'm going to call this one here. I've been at this for a little while now. And needless to say, got a fair amount of work done. Uh, I'll probably get, for now, get some vending machines set up for the ices coming through and whatnot. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.